crochet videos. So to begin your baby hat, you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once. And you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross, like that. You then want to take your crochet hook, so take your hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit but go underneath this first loop and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through and you can then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round so we one. Are now one to round one of our baby hat and to begin this round you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch this just locks our magic circle into place so now for round one we are going to do 11 double crochets into the magic circle so 11 double crochets so to do a double crochet yarn over and go down into the magic circle yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into the magic circle. So now we're going to do a second one in the exact same way. Yarn over, go down into the magic circle and do a second double crochet. And then you want to do a third one. And a fourth and just keep going until you have 11 so I have just finished working those 11 double crochets into the magic circle and now to finish off round one we need to close up our magic circle and join so to close the magic circle, you want to take this end or tail here and simply pull this as tight as you can. So pull that nice and tight and that will close up the magic circle. And then to join, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet and if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 11 stitches so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and that will take you to the stitch that you need to do a slip stitch into. So insert your hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have finished round 1 and we are ready to move on to round 2. So to begin this round you want to chain 1 and this chain 1 does not count as a stitch. So round two is a very simple round. We're just going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here that our chain one comes out of and do one double crochet. And then yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again and do a second double crochet into this stitch. So there we have two into that one. And we're going to do the same thing into the next stitch, two double crochets into this one. And then the same thing into the next one, two double crochets. And just continue this all the way around for round two, two double crochets into each and every stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of this round you should find that you have 22 double crochets and now to finish off this round we are going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the very first double crochet, insert your hook into this stitch and do a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, you want to chain one, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So in round three, 
we're going to do two double crochets down into this first stitch but then just one double crochet into the next stitch then two double crochets into the next one and one double crochet into the next one all the way around so we're doing two one two one two one all the way around for round three so we're going to start off by yarning over and going down into this first stitch here that our chain one comes out of and doing two double crochets like that so we have two down into that stitch but now into the next stitch we're going to do just one double crochet then go into the next stitch and do two double crochets both into this one but then into the next stitch just do one double crochet and just repeat this all the way around two one two one two one So I'm just coming to the end of round three and I have two stitches left to work into. So I have done two, one, two, one all the way around and I have one last set of two double crochets then one double crochet to work. But at the end of this round, instead of doing two and one, we're just going to do one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. So into this second to last stitch here, just do one double crochet and then do one double crochet into the very last stitch at the end. So you want to do two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around, and then when you get to the very last two stitches, just finish off by doing one, one. And at the end of this round, you should have 32 double crochets. And it's really important that you go back and check that you do have 32. And if you do, then you want to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. So work a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to the next so round. So we are now on to round four of our hat. And round four is going to be the first round of star stitch. So to begin this round, you want to chain three. So chain one, two, and three. And now we're going to make our very first star. So to make our first star, we're going to start off by going down into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain. So go down into the second chain from the hook and yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you want to go into the next chain. So this would be the third chain from the hook. Go down into this chain and yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you want to go into the very first stitch here. So this is the stitch that our chain three comes out of. Go down into this stitch and pull up a loop. Now go into the next stitch along and yarn over and pull up a loop. And then finally go into the next stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop. And you should find now that you have six loops on your hook one two three four five six and to finish off this first star you want to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook and then chain one and there you can see we have created the very first star so there we have made our first star and now we can move on to make our second one so to begin the second star, you want to go down into the eye of the previous star here. So the eye is this little hole where we chained one. So go down into the eye of the previous star and yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you want to go down into the space right before the last spoke of the previous star and pull up a loop from that space. So if you have a look at our previous star here, all of these little lines are the spokes and here we have the very last spoke at the end and we're going to go down into the space right before it so go down into the space right before the last spoke of the previous star 
and yarn over and pull up a loop from this space or from the space right before the last spoke and now we're going to go into this stitch here so this is the last stitch that we pulled up a loop from in the previous star so you can see it, it has already been worked into and we're going to go down into this stitch and pull up a loop and now go down into the next stitch and pull up a loop and into the next one and pull up a loop and there you should have six loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all six loops and then chain one and there we have made our second star and now for the rest of this round we are going to keep making stars all the way around using the exact same method as that second one so as the one that we just did so we're just going to keep making stars all the way around so insert your hook into the eye of the previous star and pull up a loop then pull up a loop from the space right before the last spoke of the previous star so here is the last spoke and you want to go into that space right before it and pull up a loop then pull up a loop from the last stitch that we worked into for the last star so this one here so you can see it's already been worked into and it's sort of pulled up a little bit already go into this space or into this stitch and pull up a loop and then pull up a loop from each of the next two stitches you should have six loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all six and then chain one so there we have done our next star in the exact same way and you just want to keep doing this all the way around so for each star pull up a loop from the eye of the previous star then from the space right before the last spoke of the previous star then from the last stitch that we worked into for the previous star then into each of the next two stitches then yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one and just keep doing that all the way around so we're going to go into the eye and pull up a loop right before the last spoke pull up a loop into the last stitch that was worked into before pull up a loop and then from each of the next two stitches and then repeat that again eye last spoke last stitch that we pulled up a loop from in the previous star and then each of the next two stitches and chain one and I also just quickly want to mention that it's really important that when you're doing your star stitch do not work too tight so don't work too tight or you might find that your hat kind of dips in when this row starts so just work that all the way around nice and loosely So I have just finished working that all the way around for round four. So I have done my last star and finished off with a chain one. And at the end of this round, you should find that you have 16 stars. And it's really important to make sure that you do have that number, that you do have 16. So I would go back and check and count all the way around. And this is what you should have. You can see we have our stars. And then if you do have 16, we're going to finish off this round with a slip stitch. So here we have our first star of the round and we have these little chains right before that first star. And you want to go into these chains, so just before this very first star, and do a slip stitch. So there we have finished round four and now we're ready to move on to round five. So to begin round five, 
chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch so now round five is very simple we're just going to do three half double crochets into the eye of every star so if you have a look at our work we have these little eyes all the way along for each star so there should be 16 of them and into each eye we're going to do three half double crochets so yarn over and go into the eye of this first star here yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook so there we have one half double crochet into that eye and now yarn over and go back down into this eye and do a second half double crochet and then do a third one so there we have three half double crochets into the eye of that star and now go into the next eye here and do the same thing into this one three half double crochets And now do three half double crochets into the next eye. And just repeat this all the way around for round five. Three half double crochets into each eye. So I have finished working that all the way around for round five. So I have done three half double crochets into this last eye at the end. And now to finish off, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here is the first one, go into this stitch and do a slip stitch. So there we have worked that all the way around for round five and we are ready to move on to round six. So to begin round six, you want to chain three and turn. So chain one, two, three and turn. And round six is the exact same thing as round four. So it's just another round of star stitch. So we're going to start off by doing our very first star. So go down into the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop. Then down into the next chain, pull up a loop into the first stitch that our chain three comes out of, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, and then into the next stitch. And there you should have six loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all six and chain one. So there we have done our first star. And now for the rest of this round, you just want to continue making stars all the way around using the same method as round four. So go into the eye of the previous star and pull up a loop into the space right before the last spoke, pull up a loop into the last stitch that we pulled up a loop from in the previous star, pull up a loop and then into each of the next two stitches. Yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook and chain one and just keep repeating that star again and again and again. So this is the exact same round as round four. And as with that round, remember to not work too tight. So don't work your stars too tight, otherwise you might find that your hat goes in a little bit at this point. So just keep repeating this all the way around for round six. So I have finished working that all the way around for round six. So I have done my last star and chained one here at the end. And now to finish off this round in the same way as we finished off round four, we need to do a slip stitch into these little chains here before the first star. So go into the chains, this little space, and do a slip stitch. So there we have finished round six, and now we're ready to move on to round seven. So to begin round seven, you want to chain one and turn, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. 
So round seven is a very simple round and it's very similar to round five. But in round five, we did three half double crochets into the eye of every star around. And in this round, we're just going to do two half double crochets into the eye of each star. So two half double crochets. So yarn over and go down into this first eye here and do one half double crochet and then do a second one back down into the same eye or into the same stitch. Now go into the next eye and do two half double crochets into this one and then do two into the next eye and just keep repeating this all the way around two half double crochets into each and every eye So I have finished working that all the way around for round seven. So I did two half double crochets into the eye of this last star here. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So there we have finished round seven. And now we're ready to move on to the next so round. Now one to round eight. And the rest of our baby hat is very simple. We are just going to keep repeating the last two rounds that we just worked. So rounds six and seven, again and again and again, until you feel that your hat is long enough. So we have just finished round seven. So now we're going to do round six again, then round seven, then round six, seven, six, seven, until you feel that you have the size hat that you want. So round six is the round of star stitch. So to begin that round, chain three and turn, and then do your first star, and then do your second star, and keep repeating stars like that second one all the way around and finish off with a slip stitch. And then round seven is your round of half double crochet. So chain one and turn, and then do two half double crochets into the eye of every star around, finishing off with a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you worked. And then repeat that again six seven six seven and once you have done that this is what you should have so you can see i have repeated those rounds so i have rounds one two three four five six seven and then i did six seven six seven so i repeated each of those rounds two times and this is what i have and then when I got to the very end of my last round seven, I fastened off, so pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn. And then you want to go ahead and weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside of your baby hat. And you have so finished. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to my Twitter. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. And in the description box, I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching.